When you hire a real estate agent, you're bringing another person into your life, your finances, and your home for weeks. So you're probably thinking, how can I make sure this stranger is the right person to sell my house? Hi everyone, Corinne here with Homelight. Your real estate agent is essentially your business partner throughout your entire home sale. So you have to make sure they know what they're doing and that you can trust them. Pam Zaragoza, who ranks in the top 4% of seller's agents in Burlingame, California, says it best when it comes to trusting your agent. When somebody interviews an agent, whether it's the buying agent or the selling agent, they have to have a level of trust in that person. It's as if you're dating or almost engaged because you are sharing a lot of information. You're going to get to know each other very, very well. Seller or the buyer, they have to really feel like they can trust that agent. The first step to interviewing agents happens before you meet with them in person. You can learn a ton about an agent through some online research. Your first stop should be homelight.com. Plug in your address and we'll compare and contrast all of the agents in your area on their historical performance. We'll show you agents with proven track records of success. Agents who can sell your home faster and for more money. Once you have a few strong candidates, the next step is to meet with each of them in person and dig in deeper on their experience, work ethic, and personality. You can cover a lot of ground with just a 15 minute phone call. Let's walk through it. First, start with the basics. These questions are important to get out of the way quickly in the beginning, so you have time to talk about selling your house in more detail. So first, ask them, how long have you been in business? Don't take a chance with a real estate agent that's just starting out or only part-time. You need someone that knows the ropes so your home sale goes smoothly. How well do you know my area? In order to sell your house, your real estate agent needs to be able to sell the location as well. So a real estate agent that's outside of their typical bounds could skip out on neighborhood facts that buyers need to hear. How many clients do you represent at once? The last thing you want is to list your house with an agent that doesn't answer your calls or potential buyer calls. Make sure you'll have their undivided attention throughout the duration of your sale. Have you sold homes like mine? Make sure your agent has experience selling homes like yours in the same price range. You wouldn't hire a tiny home expert to sell your mansion, right? Next, get a little deeper. You want to know that your agent is prepared with a plan of how to sell your home. So ask more specific questions like, do you work with a team? A real estate agent with a team might be able to market your house faster with more manpower. But if you'll be speaking to a different person every time, that's something you need to know. What is your marketing plan? An experienced real estate agent should have a plan of how they'll market your home online and in advertisements. How do you handle preparing my home for sale? At a first meeting, a real estate agent can tell you what you may need to do to prepare your home for sale. They should have names and numbers for local professionals to handle any task to get your house market ready. What will be the biggest challenge for my home sale? Whether it's the current real estate market, the condition of your house, or your location, a top real estate agent is upfront and honest about what could be a challenge when selling your home. Once they've answered all of those questions, it's time to get down to the nitty gritty. You need to understand every detail of what's going to happen over the next few months so that you and your real estate agent are on the same page every step of the way. Ask, how much do you charge? The standard seller's agent commission is 6%, and most agents won't negotiate much, but it's still important to bring it up to make sure each of your needs are being met upfront. Can you walk me through the process from start to finish? If you haven't sold a home before, now's the time to have an agent walk you through the process. They should be able to easily provide a roadmap of everything that'll happen along the way. Can you send over client references? Verify that the real estate agent hasn't had a history of flops that left sellers unhappy. Can I see a CMA and real estate market data for my area? Always ask for detailed market reports and have your agent go over them with you so you understand exactly what price you should list your house for. What price do you think my home will sell for? If they did their homework, an agent should always have a figure in mind of how much you can sell your house for. What are the estimated closing costs? The amount you'll pay in closing will vary, but a real estate agent that has closed a lot of deals should be able to give you a ballpark number. All of these questions are designed to draw out an agent's strategy, confidence, and proficiency. By the end of your conversation, you should feel confident that this agent can or cannot handle your business. So there is one more question to ask yourself. Is this the right real estate agent for me? If yes, congrats. 
you can get started selling your house. Start your search for the perfect real estate agent at homelight.com.